In this session, we are going to discuss Python function arguments. We know that passing arguments to a function is optional. We may not pass any argument. We may pass one or more than one arguments. So, argument passing to a function is optional. A function may or may not have arguments passed. A function can have fixed or variable number of arguments. As we discussed that very uh, that is the variations while passing variable number of arguments to a function. So, how to pass variable number of arguments to a function? So, that can be categorized in three different heads. So, there is a python default arguments, python keyword arguments, then python arbitrary arguments. So, to discuss more on them, I think the theoretical concept will not be sufficient enough. Let us go for one practical demonstration. We will be showing that how this python default arguments, python keyword arguments and python arbitrary arguments can get implemented using python coding. So, here is the demonstration. A function may or may not have its input arguments. Also, a function may or may not return anything. So, here we are defining one function. The name of the function is find max. It is having a and b as input arguments. So, here if a is greater than b, the return a that means which is the maximum one will be returned and that is why the name of the function is find max here. So, if a is greater than b return a else it will return b here. So, this function is having input parameters a and b. So, while calling this find max we are passing parameter 10 which will be assigned to the variable a and also passing 20 which will be assigned to the variable b here. So, if 10 is greater than 20 the condition is false. So, it will return the value b that means 20 will be returned and that we can print here. So, let us go for the execution. So, max number between 10 and 20 is 20. So, if I make this one as 100, if I make this one 100, then obviously the output will be accordingly changed. So, max number between 100 and 20 is 100 here. So, in this way I have shown you that how a function can take input arguments and how it can return a value. Next one, we are going for this hello. Here we are having two uh, parameters, one is the name and another one is the message. The message is having one default argument. So, it will print hello and then name and the message. So, here you see we have passed the first argument as Ognivo. So, that will be assigned to the name and the second argument we have passed as have a nice day and that will be assigned to the message. So, in the second time when I am calling this hello uh, function, we are passing only Ognivo not the second argument we are passing. In that case as the second parameter is missing, it will take the default value of the second parameter. So, let us go for the execution. You can find that hello, hello is coming from this particular string. So, hello Ognivo comma have a nice day. I pass this have a nice day. So, that is why it has got printed accordingly. Next one is hello Ognivo, how are you? Because I did not pass the second argument. Second parameter is not being passed. As a result of that, the default argument is actually uh, is getting assigned onto this onto this MA message variable. Okay, now let us go for the another one. So here you see we are having one function. The name of the function is sum all, which will take the function with the arbitrary arguments. So sum is equal to zero for i in arguments. Sum is equal to sum plus i and return sum. So here this star args will indicate that. Here you can pass multiple number of arguments as required. There is no uh, upper limit. We can pass mul multiple number of arguments as required. So, in that case for i in arg, so it will retrieve one of the arguments at a time and that argument will get added with the sum. Before going for this addition, we have made this sum initialized with the value 0 and then we are having this return sum. So, let us go for the execution. So, if with this particular function sum all, we have passed four, uh, five parameters. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If we just go on adding, you are going to get here 15. So, that is why sum of all the integers between 1 to 5 is 15 here. So, sum of all integers. So, this particular line has got printed. So, in this way, you can have a function with the variable number of arguments in our Python. Now, let us go for this particular method. So, here the method name is default argument. It is having three uh, input parameters a, b and c and their values will get printed. So, default argument has been called with these values 10, 20 and 30. Okay. Now, let me go for the execution of the same. 
I'm finding this one a is equal to 10 B is equal to 20 and C is equal to 30 here so now I'm just uh, doing some changes in my code here I'm not passing the third parameter I'm passing only 10 and 20 so then what is the outcome we are finding one error there is a type error it is showing one error there is a type error and it is telling that default argument function miss missing one required positional argument that is C because I didn't pass the third argument so C has got not initialized so what we are doing I'm just here putting here 300 if I execute the code you can find that as I didn't pass the value for C so the default argument is get, getting assigned on this C variable okay now next one I'm doing some changes here here I'm not passing the value for B if I go on execution you can find that I'm finding one error and it is telling that def default argument function missing one required positional argument B so the value for B is missing here so that is the problem so we are doing this one in this way we're retrieving this problem in this way we're re uh, resolving this problem in this way now you can find that we're having this 200 the default argument is being assigned and this default argument is being assigned and 10 as I passed that will be assigned to a here okay next one I'm not passing anything I'm just making only this one so if I go for execution you can find that default argument function missing one required positional argument that is a so in that case what will happen in that case I should make some default argument to be mentioned you see so all the default values have got assigned here so in this way I've shown you that how the uh, default arguments are playing their roles now next time I'm going for the another one I'm just mentioning that B is equal to 2 to 2 C is equal to 3 to 3 and uh, here we're having this a is equal to 1 1 1 we're having this one so now if I go on executing you can find that we're having this 1 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 you can also see that I have mentioned them in different order not in the order in which uh, we have actually defined them in the function input parameters so here we can mention explicitly that this 2 2 2 will be assigned to B 3 3 3 will be assigned to C and triple 1 will be assigned to A and accordingly the values have got mapped so I'm just making a copy of it and just withdrawing this assignment so in that case as the value of C is missing so the default value 300 will be assigned to C so default value 300 will be assigned to C so in this way I have shown you that how these arguments can be uh, of different types how the what is the um, your uh, uh, default arguments how to write one function which will take uh, multiple number of arguments as required so we are giving you the demonstration with some examples to make your conception clear on Python functions thanks for watching this video